shares in Hexstar Technologies Solutions rallied to an all-time high, ostensibly on the appointment of Dato Eddie Ong Chu Ming as its group CEO. The counter gained 16% to close at 19 ringgit 84 cent a share, giving the company a market value of 2.55 billion ringgit. In the last one year, Hexstar Technologies share price has risen by 778.7%, with its lowest at 2 ringgit 25 last January 3rd. The counter was the top gain of the day, with trading volume surging six times more than the average, as 502,800 shares changed hands. The company said it also appointed former central bank governor Tan Sri Muhammad Ibrahim as its independent non-executive chairman. It also made career banker Chu Jun Kyung as its group deputy CEO and executive director. Ong was previously an executive director of Hexter Global, as well as a non-independent non-executive director of Hexter Industries and Hexter Healthcare. He recently relinquished his directorships in the companies. Ong has a 71.47% stake in Hexter Technologies. Under him, Hexter Group now holds substantial stakes in nine listed firms, with a combined market value of over 8 billion ringgit. Gamuda's unit is buying eight parcels of freehold land in Rawang Slango for 360 million ringgit. In a Bursa Malaysia filing, the group said its subsidiary Gamuda Land Botanic is buying the tracks collectively spanning 532 acres from Kundang Properties for a mixed development with a gross development value of 3.3 billion ringgit over a 10-year period. Gamuda called the deal synergistic as the plots are next to the developer's existing 800. 10-acre Gamuda Gardens Township in North Sungai Buloh and are easily accessible via three major expressways, namely North-South Expressway, Lata Highway and Guthrie Corridor Expressway. The plan is to develop these tracks as an extension of Gamuda Gardens with the aim of completing the deal by the end of the second quarter of this year. Gamuda Land CEO Chu Wailun said the acquisition, which will be funded by internally generated funds and borrowings, will strengthen its presence in the northern Klang Valley region. This new expansion is targeted for a 2026 launch and will contribute to earnings over the following six years. Shares of Gamuda closed 0.8% higher at 3 ringgit 78 sen, valuing the group at 9.89 billion ringgit. The Securities Commission Malaysia, or SC, has appointed Kamarudin Hashim and Datin Azalina Adham as its new managing directors effective January 1, 2023. In a press statement, the commission said the duo will aid its chairman in setting the overall strategic direction of the Malaysian capital market and in overseeing its dual mandate of capital market regulation and development. Both will continue to oversee their current portfolios. Kamarudin is in charge of market and corporate supervision, while Azalina manages strategy and policy. Deputy Chief Executive Dato Zainal Islan Zainal Abidin, who informed the Commission of his departure last October, is stepping down next Wednesday to pursue other interests after 12 years of service. SC Chairman Dato Sri Dr Awang Adik Hussein thanked Zainal for his service and contributions to the development of the capital market. He said Zainal Islan has helped lead the growth of the Islamic capital market and the SC's sustainable and responsible investment agenda, both low locally and abroad. Sunway Construction Group or Suncon has entered into a 1.7 billion ringgit contract to oversee the construction of a data centre in Johor's Sedana Tech Park Cost Step. Its subsidiary Sunway Construction inked the contract with Yellowwood Properties on December 31, 2022. Suncon noted that the contract's scope of works includes design and build for piling and structural precast concrete works, data centre main building architecture works, mechanical and electric services, telecommunications, control and security installation and associated works, including primary plant and external ancillary works. The works are expected to be completed by the third quarter of 2024. Barring any unforeseen circumstances, Suncon expects the job to contribute positively to earnings for FY 2023 onwards. This new win brings the total new jobs secured by the group in 2022 to 2.6 billion ringgit. 
Shares in Suncon ended 1.9% higher at 1 ringgit 59, giving it a market capitalization of 2.06 billion ringgit. Packaging solutions provider LMP Global made an impressive debut on the ace market of Bursa Malaysia, opening at 42 cent over its initial public offering price of 30 cent a share, before closing even stronger. Over the day, its share price climbed to 53 cent and finished at 54.5 cent for an 82% premium over its offer price boosting its market capitalization to 305.2 million ringgit. Trading volume opened at 19.98 million and by the day's end had reached 255.37 million shares, making LMP Global Bursa's third most actively traded stock. LMP Global has a dividend policy to pay out between 20% and 50% of its annual audited net profit. Executive Director come Chief Executive Officer Ui Le Peng said the listing status and funds raised will enable the group to expedite its expansion plans. According to her, the company's utilisation rates for the seven-month period ended July 31, 2022 stood at approximately 90% and so it needs to ready itself with additional capacity to take on new businesses. Furthermore, against the backdrop of the ongoing US-China trade tensions, multinational corporations are relocating and setting up new manufacturing facilities in Southeast Asia, which bodes well for LMP Global. She is also confident that the group will maintain its performance despite a possible recession. <laughs>